Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, we're gonna use the auto animate feature to make the smooth load interaction as well as the drag feature to delete a product from your shortcut cart. Before we get started, and as usual, I've got here a minimalistic product detail page and this pop out cart. Also, I've got two components one for the delete icon, and the other one the dots will be using to make the load animation. So first of all, we're gonna duplicate the artboard and decrease the opacity of the text and bring in the dots into the middle of the shape right here. You can align them by using the icons on the very top, right? Now I'm gonna copy the dots and paste them into the second artboard or the first artboard, sorry, and decrease their opacity and then we will select the second artboard, copy and paste it, and now we're gonna start playing with the dots. Uh, you can play with them the way you want the animation to be. I'm gonna position them like this until they look balanced and center them within the shape, just like so. And after that, I'll duplicate this artboard again and rotate the dots maybe 270 it looks great like this and i'm going to duplicate this artboard again and rotate these dots to have a complete rotation i'm gonna leave it at 90 degrees and now we're going to head over to prototyping i'm gonna select add to back button and link it with the other artboard, the second artboard I meant. And then choose the tab as the trigger and ease out, works fine. Now we're gonna head over to the second uh, artboard, sorry. And then we're gonna choose time as the trigger this time. Ease in and out and do the same thing with the other artboards, just like so. Now we're gonna play the animation. It looks a little bit fast. I'm gonna slow it down by increasing the duration to 0.5 seconds and then do it with all the other artboards. Now let's play the result. That looks great. This is how I want it to be. I'm gonna head back to design now and copy and paste the second artboard and then link this artboard with the last artboard so we can have this result perfect now we gotta be ready to work on the pop out shortcut back so i'm just gonna have to duplicate the last artboard and decrease the button opacity to zero just like so now that we decrease the opacity we're going to draw a shape or a rectangle just like so and fill it out with the black color and and check the border check the background blur the idea is to blur the background out and bring in our shortcut bag so i'm going to copy and paste the shortcut bag into the artboard but first let me just adjust the opacity i'll leave it to 30 and then align this shape or the cart then i'm gonna copy and paste the blurred background and copy and paste again the cart and take it down right here and i'm going to prototype it the trigger will be time and then snap as the easing and i'm gonna maybe one second would be great let's see the result it looks perfect lovely now we're going to work on the last animation which is the drag uh, delete button so i'm going to drag the component inside my workspace and copy and paste it into the this group of elements right here if you don't know how to take it inside you just go simply to the layer panel and take it inside that group of elements that we're going to apply this animation in 
So what I'm doing is I'm dragging the delete button outside the artboard so it's not visible. And then I copied and pasted the artboard, drag this whole group to the left, and then select the group in the previous artboard and link it with the other one and select drag as the trigger. I'll choose snap as the easing and then I'll copy and paste the last artboard to work on the last animation or interaction. I'm gonna take the whole group of elements and shrink it and decrease its opacity just like so and I'll also hide this line because we don't need it anymore and I'll select these three elements I'll shrink the whole cart just like this and now we're gonna head over to prototype and first of all we're gonna select the button of course and then select tap as the trigger I'll leave it just like this maybe change the duration a little bit to 0.5 and I'm gonna delete this, get rid of it, and then let's expand the screen and see the result. So it's loading, the card shows up, drag and tap to delete, great. So this is it for our course, I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you for watching.